Who can tell me in the comment section of the video how many times I say the word roundabout? Keep your count. Hey there city skylands enthusiasts, my name is Flyvox and welcome back to Skylands 101. In today's video I'll show you how you can upgrade a roundabout like a pro. Let's go. We are back in Voxaria for this tutorial and before we jump right in I just wanted to let you know that the issues I was having in the city was simply because I had hard mode turned on by accident. So my bad. We're good now. <laughs> when building a roundabout this would be what you usually do. Go to an intersection or an empty space where you planned out your road infrastructure. I have chosen this space for the showcase, so we'll put a roundabout right about here. That way we can have a nice riverside road from here and we are able to connect this road to our new roundabout. Take out the existing road. Grab your one-way road and go to the curved road tool. Place the road at your starting point. I would like a nice big 10x10 space roundabout. We can easily achieve this spacing by keeping an eye on the guidelines that appear when using the curved road tool. So anchor your road, drag it out, and when this little line appears we have a distance of 5 units. The secondary line which we can go to is 10 units. Now place your road. Repeat this 3 more times and voila. Be sure to anchor your roundabout on the nodes to avoid deforming when adding your roads to it. Alright, so this is your standard roundabout and it works perfectly fine. However, I want to show you some cool ways to improve not only the look, but also the traffic flow. First thing we want to do is go to our trusty node controller renewal mod. We'll select the nodes where the roads connect to our roundabout. Now we'll go to offset and see what happens when I change that number here. The node widens. I usually like to go to about 20 for the bigger nodes, but you can have it set to anything basically. Now that we've set the offset on all four points to 20, we are left with these bigger nodes. You can see that the curves are much bigger and smoother, which means that cars can drive into and out of the roundabout faster, which makes for better traffic flow overall. And guess what? We are still not done with this roundabout. Last step is the beautification. We'll first of all want to go into TMPE and tell the AI where to go. I like to grab the lane connector tool and draw the paths for the cars. So I want the cars to be able to leave the roundabout from both lanes, so connect like this. I also want cars on the inner lane to be able to stay inside the roundabout. Perfect. Now repeat this on all the connections. For the final beautification step, we want to go into the intersection marking tool. Select the node and draw your lines. We have to select the point where we want to start. Quick tip, if you hold Alt, you can draw a solid line, because by default you have a dashed line. Then connect these two points with a dashed line, and these. We're not done yet. We also want a filler in the middle. Hold Alt and the points will turn to red. Now we can select the area for our filler. I like to go with the grass filler for the roundabout. We also want to make the filler a bit smaller on this side. We can do that here. And there we go. To make it look even better, we still need to erase some of the unnecessary lines. We can select the lines we need if we just hover over them in the menu. For this, we need to add a start point and an end point where we only want the line to appear. We can do so right here. And continue with the other lines as well. And voila, it looks super slick. You can see we basically drew the line similar to how we forced the AI to drive. And that's basically it. Bonus if you decorate the area inside the roundabout.
What we did here is by all means not necessary, but I do think it looks super cool like this. Now, if you want to see 15 quick tips for city skylines, I highly recommend you check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe out there, and bye bye.